What do you think happens when you <laughs> when you take old seltzer water out from underneath your trailer and it's freezing outside, you find yourself with lots and lots of... <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah, these are all pieces that all froze. I'm afraid they might explode on me. I'm afraid like a... Yes. Yeah. I mean, that's one thing I'm worried about right now. But does it look like they all these tops splashed off? Anywhere? <laughs> no. Well, where is the liquid? I think it's... I, think it's, I don't know. It's gotta be in there. Look at these. All of these are frozen. All of these had the pops come off. So I think that... I don't know where it is. It's really weird. I'm afraid like if it's I get too easy. hard... Well, like, look in here. Yeah. There is some in there. Well, there is a little bit in there, but look. Yeah. So, rule number one, when you get your trailer winterized, make sure you take all of your liquid-based products out and don't leave them for the winter. <laughs> all right, so we're on to day two. Woke up this morning and it was zero degrees outside. And as you can see, we had some snow last night. So. We had to alter our plans a little bit for our renovation project, and that's okay, because that's what this whole trip is about. So today I'm gonna be working on sanding the walls and trying to install a couple things. Steven spent some time doing more research on the um, inverter, and so I'll take you inside and show you what we've done so far. You can see that we've started the heat because it is only 12 degrees. So the goal is for me to stay at least at 25 degrees in here and a little warmer. So we took care of getting all of the stickers and everything off of the trailer, except for one key area, which is our wall of stickers. And you can see that these have a lot of meaning to us. We actually spent a lot of time over the last four years collecting these in all of our camping trips around Colorado. And so we've been to Maroon Bells, and we've been to Twin Lakes and Sylvan Lake, Continental Divide, but we have to say goodbye to this wall so that we can actually create some space for ourselves. And so it was lovely having it, but now we have to say goodbye. And so we've got some other things that we're gonna be working on. We are gonna be painting these walls here white, and we're gonna get rid of this door color and make it white. Um, and we're gonna be taking care of putting a shelf up above the uh, bed so that way we have more storage so um, a lot of work still to do and we're excited about getting it going but needless to say the weather kind of didn't agree with us this week so stay tuned hey i was coming out to see what you were doing so are you taping yes hey so i was um <laughs> i was wiping down everything uh, -huh. uh wiping down um all of the cabinet rails and styles and the walls, just getting all of the dust that happened to be hanging out off there. And then I was gonna clean off the uh, the sink area so that we can wipe that down. And then at least we'll be uh, clean of dust and debris. And then what is that you're holding? So this is the, uh, the uh, little heater that, um, again, to add to my <laughs> electrical fiascos, caught on fire <laughs> on the inside. And, uh, but then I kept using it and it ended up working okay. So we got a lot of snow over the last couple of days and even though you can see that it's bright beautiful sunshine outside it is expected to snow later this afternoon so i don't know i would like to think that we'd be able to get the painting done today but the walls need to be a certain temperature and we just want to make sure we do it the right way so so check out our snow we've got quite a bit of it um, and it came off of the heels of some very 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 cold temperatures and so i guess note to self is you just don't want to renovate a trailer in February <laughs> so yeah so we'll see what we can do today but you know again our goal right now is just to like be open-minded and flexible to whatever comes our way because we'll get it done eventually we know we will yep so here's a week later of trying to get ourselves going with I mean I feel like we're primed and ready the walls do feel they do feel a little cold, huh? Um, well, I made them wet. 
Oh. <laughs> uh, but they're, they're, uh, oh, they don't feel don't like know. cold, actually. I mean, we, you want to try it? I don't know. We could. Important thing to note for all of you are potters, if you're plugged in electrical and you try to turn your heat on, your air conditioner comes on at the same time. <laughs> or at least ours does. Yeah, maybe so, it's broken. Yeah, I think I <laughs> so, kind of think it is. Yeah. So anyway, we're gonna try. We're gonna make an attempt. Maybe we'll just do like a small section. You know how they say just yeah. paint a small section. That's a good idea. So we're just gonna paint a small section and see what we get. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So it looks like we are gonna start to do some of the painting today, or at least. Uh, Gina's gonna do most of it, of course, because she's a professional painter. No, I'm not. That you was, just don't want to do it. That was her job before no, you just don't being want to do chief it. marketing officer. <laughs> nice try. Um, while she's doing that, I'm gonna put in this exciting little shelf system down here below so that you can pull the little basket out and maybe we'll have plates in there, something like that. Later on today, over here, after having removed that whole shelf which is a separate video i'm gonna cut a new half shelf triangle to go in there so we're just gonna make uh just some small adjustments today So Gina just got a really nice dress shirt that I've actually worn in weddings before yeah, but you to use worn as it in camping. Like 10 years. Oh, you're painting. <laughs> but you haven't worn it in ten years. Should that matter? <laughs> I don't think so. Alright, I don't have gloves. No, don't even. So we finished day two, although it's probably an extended day two because we had a little bit of a freeze effect that happened. So we're really glad you got a chance to watch some of our makeover. We've got more to come. Yep. So uh, right now we've gotten, Gina has gotten uh, the Thank painting you. done, a couple of layers of primer and then a couple of layers of the official final coat back here. Still working on the kitchen cabinetry. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of other things to do to put in a new couch here take that toilet out, put in a new one, connect the black and gray tanks for a different purpose, put in the inverter. Got a lot to do. Yeah. Got a yeah. lot to do, but that's why we want you to stay tuned. So hit subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell. Leave us a comment. Let us know what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. See ya. So, are you taping? Yes. Hey. So I was, um, look at that. You want to show that? No. <laughs>